Hey, ciao. Well, welcome to my studio here in Italy where I'm working on my latest creation. Um, a painting that's, um, I'd like to think, filled with a lot of positive energy in it because, uh, you know, today it seems like in, in 2022, there's a lot of things going on in the world, right? And if you pay attention to your mainstream media and newspapers and Hollywood and and of course the uh, politicians and uh, even the sports world is, is filled with these um, misconceptions and misperceptions. It's a perception deception of what's really going on in the world. And in my humble opinion, you know, there's a great awakening happening, a really great awakening. People are starting to understand who they're not because we've been programmed our whole lives to believe, you know, we're born with a name, with a religion, with a race. We're told that's impossible. This is possible. Those are the bad guys. Those are the good guys. You know, and then you go to school and it's memorize, repeat, memorize, repeat, memorize. I mean, come on. And so what happens at the end, you're looking at life through a straw, okay? Well, that straw is being taken away now because a lot of people are waking up. So I've done this painting here one of a series I'm doing on the, the Great Awakening of Humanity. And this one's called Renascimento de Humanità, the Renaissance of Humanity. And what I've done, I've copied a painting by a wonderful 19th century painter, Dutch painter, called Sir Lawrence Alma Tadema, and his painting called Spring which is a celebration of life, right? Rebirth, all things growing, all fabulous flowers, as you can see, and all the, I mean, he, tremendous. And, I, and I, I've always been a big fan of Sir Lawrence Alma Tadam, and I thought, what the heck, I'm gonna make a copy, but I'm gonna switch it around a little bit because it is such a celebratory painting that I'm gonna inject my own ideas into it of positive things. And what I've done, I've taken a lot of ancient Roman quotes and if I injected them into the composition. So come on and I'll, I'll give you a little tour of the quote so you, you get an idea why this is called the Renaissance of Humanity. So if you go right up here, you'll see per aspera ad astra, which means through, through difficulty to the stars. So you know, we've got to pass these. And this one's pretty obvious here. I mean, we're talking about chopping off the head of the snake. And, as, you know, things are being revealed to us. And what a Nazi is, you know, it goes back. That, that symbol there, the swastika, is an ancient symbol for the sun. And the Nazis have taken it like they do everything, like the Satanists do. Everything's inversion. And they take that symbol of the sun and they invert it to make what's a black sun. And if you want to know more about the black sun... You could study David Icke and the planet Saturn. Okay, that's a whole nother. And then we have the symbol for communism, which is also a symbol for Saturn. Okay, the, the hammer and the sickle. Well, they've taken the actual symbol for Saturn and just made a few variations in it. But it's all roads lead to the same head of the snake. And that's, we decapitate that. So moving down, I have here, Timendi causa es nesi. Sheer, which means ignorance is the cause of fear. And as you know today, the whole way to control people is with fear and with ignorance. And they're doing a pretty good job, okay? And then we come down here, you know, this is the Renaissance of Humanity, and the Fleur de Lis is, um, yeah, it's the symbol of Florence, etc., where the Renaissance began, but it's also the symbol of the New Orleans Saints, great football team. That's my team. Or well, they sometimes are great. Right now they suck. But anyway, so working on that, we have Libertas Profundent Omnia Lucha. And freedom will flood all things with light. You see where I'm going with this? Okay. And then we have Sepere, Sepere Aud. Dare to know. Dare to know. Have the balls to go and educate yourself about what's really ha happening. Step outside of your comfort zone. You step outside of your comfort zone and you're gonna find life begins. And then amor omnia vincent, well, that's easy. Love conquers all. 
And it's the love vibration that's going to conquer all this. That's leading the way of this human renaissance. Okay, and I'm not talking about romantic love, but love of the universe. How we're connected to all people and all things. Okay, and down here at the bottom, well, that's that old pesky symbol that pops up on your $1 bill. The, the all-seeing eye on the top of the pyramid, the capstone, and that's Illuminati, bloodlines. And that's right up there with the Nazis and the communists and the, the Illuminati. So we get rid of all those suckers and, you know, we're good to go. So that's my little tour of the painting. And um, it's going to be out there on the market. <laughs> that translates to for sale. But um, so I hope you enjoyed my little tour. And I just want to thank you for tuning in to this video. And uh, keep your eyes open, ask questions, demand answers, and most of all, take action. Thank you. God bless you. Ciao.